The autopsy results are in tonight of a mother and son found dead in Colleton County last week. The coroner tells us someone shot Paul and Maggie Murdaugh multiple times last Monday night. The coroner confirmed their estimated time of death was between 9 and 9.30. You're looking at drone footage of the area where their bodies were found. Tonight, there are still a lot of questions surrounding what led to their deaths. Our Brooke Butler spoke to a family friend to get some answers. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division and the Colleton County Sheriff's Office still not releasing much information about the shooting deaths of Paul and Maggie Murdaugh, but a family friend is providing some insight. It was just sirens after siren. I mean, we're right here on the main road. Tangi Omer was in her bedroom June 7th when she knew something was wrong. Usually when you hear that many sirens, it has to be something, something really tragic. Homer was devastated to learn Paul and Maggie Murdaugh had been shot. She says Alex Murdaugh found their bodies. I can only imagine when you come home and have to and find your, your wife and your son in the yard. You may remember Paul Murdaugh had been awaiting trial on a charge of boating under the influence causing death. But Omer says the Murdaugh's were kind people who never meant any harm. Obviously there are some mistakes made and some things that, but the people themselves are they're great. They care about the community. They really do. Omer says the days leading up to their deaths were normal. I would have never, never guessed I'd have gotten that kind of call that night even. Now she and this prominent South Carolina family of attorneys are counting on law enforcement to get them some answers. I think they have enough faith in the, the judicial system and you know the and the the law enforcement to do their jobs. Mm -hmm. I think they have enough faith in that to, to that they'll know some answers. Now, Omer says just like everyone else, she's not sure if the shooting was targeted or not, but she does say the fact that they were shot multiple times does seem personal. Reporting in Colleton County, I'm Brooke Butler, WGCL 22 News. Again, investigators still aren't releasing much information tonight about the deaths of Paul and Maggie Murdaugh. We'll be sure to update you both on air and online as we learn more.